Hello again, my students. Um, it's me again. And now in this video, we are going to start explaining present perfect simple with get and already. And the section that I added for you is present perfect symbol with since for and how long. يعني انتو هون مطلوب منكو yet and already in the question number five or the grammar section. And I added also since for how long. How do we use present perfect symbol with this how long okay so in order to answer question number five and number six we need to explain what is present perfect symbol simply in each structure we need to understand the concept of the structure in order to understand the target of the structure in order to use the structure in our spoken and written language إذا أنا لأفهم القاعدة لازم أعرف الكونسبت وإذا فهمت الكونسبت لازم أفهمه حتى أكون قادر على استخدام هاي القاعدة بلغتي الشفوية والكتابية okay? So let's start with present perfect continuous In present perfect continuous we use it to talk about what? To talk about an action which is finished or has finished أنا عندي action انتهى but the result of the action is in a present time. Like in Natish, to our results hai when موجودة in the present time. The action itself is finished. Al hadath or the event بحداتها ولكن but the result of the action still exists in the present time. ما زالت the result موجودة in the present time. For example, look at this picture. In this picture, Pen is eating a chicken leg. Chicken leg. Can you see? After a while, we can say Ben has eaten a chicken leg. What is the result here? The action or the event is finished. But why did I use present perfect symbol? Not but simple. Because the result. Where's the result? As you can see, that uh, the empty dish, and this uh, you can see the knife. You can see a pen. Who finished his food? Is an end the result. This is the results. Okay, these are the results. So when we talk about the results, we can use present perfect symbol when we talk about finished actions or events, but the results of these actions still exist or appear in our present time. Mazalat wamjuda tudhar where fil present time. Now let's take a close look to the present form, uh, to the present perfect, uh, present perfect form. We start, or we use after the subject, the helping verb have and has, which we take it from have. If you remember, when we talked about parts of a speech, we said that we have two verbs we can derive from have in a present symbol, have and has. إحنا بنقدر نشتاق. فعلين من الهاف تمام اللي هم الهاف والهاز الهاف دايما بنستخدمه with what with plural nouns and pronouns ال pronouns زي ال i وال u وال v وال they دايما بياخدوا هاف while singular nouns and pronouns we can use them with what with has إذا ال has دايما بتيجي مع الاسم المفرد أو الضمير المفرد وال have دايما بتيجي مع الاسم الجمع أو ضمير الجمع حتى لو ال I هون كانت معناها مفرد بتحكي عن شخص واحد إحنا we said we treat it as a plural not a singular يعني بنعاملها معاملة الجمع and in present perfect symbol after have and has we should put what the past participle past participle هو الverb 3 إذا بدنا نشتق الفعل أو بدنا نحضر الفعل الثالث بدنا نحط الفعل الثالث أو التصريف الثالث من الفعل مثل ما إحنا شايفين هون for example you have eaten an apple eaten this is a verb 3 of eat ال past form أو الverb 2 هي ate he has eaten an apple نفس الشيء eaten this is verb 3 okay so whenever we form a positive sentence we use subject either singular or plural 
If the subject is singular, we use the helping verb has, then the verb three, our past participle. If the subject is plural, we use what? We use have and the verb three. إذا كان الفاعل مفرد بستخدم ال has وراها ال verb 3 وإذا كان جمع بستخدم ال have وراها ال verb 3 The most important point in our lesson for today is how to use already and yet So in order to understand when do we use already and when do we use yet we need to understand how do we use each one of them إذا أنا لح أفهم متى بستخدم already ومتى بستخدم يت لازم أعرف إيش أعرف كل واحدة فيهم متى بستخدمها For example for already in the present perfect we use it with positive or yes sentence إذا أنا دائما already بتيجي مع ال affirmative sentence in affirmative sentence بستخدمها مع ال affirmative sentence and it has two position إلها موقعين first position between ال have وال has بعدين بنحط already وبنحط ال verb 3 and at the end of a sentence at the end of a sentence يعني بنهاية جملة and it's very rare to use it at the end of a sentence وهي تقريبا يمكن الأول مرة بتمر عليك وإنه already بتيجي في نهاية الجملة المثبتة okay okay يا شباب so but we we usually use it between the verb or the helping verb and the verb 3 عادة مستخدم already just ما بين ال helping verb وال verb 3 so if I want to use already at the end of the sentence it doesn't mean incorrect ما بيعني إنها incorrect تمام ولكن it is correct to use it at the end of a sentence but still it's very rare let's take an example have you eaten the apples yet don't ask me about yet because i will explain it later let's suppose that you are going to give me a yes sentence you are going to say yes i've already eaten the apples see i've وهي اختصار i have already eaten نشوف ال already اجت وين in the middle okay the apples this is positive sentence or I can say, yes, I've eaten the apples already. Both of two sentences are correct. It two sentences صحيحات وليسوا خاطئين. التنتين مزبوطات ومش غلط استخدامهم. So, already goes in the middle or at the end of the sentence. إما بتيجي بالmiddle between the helping verb with verb 3 or at the end of the sentence. But when it comes to yet, you need to know that we used... We use yet only in positive, uh, sorry, only in negative and question. يعني بس بستخدمها بال questions or negative. ومعنى yet ليس بعد. Not yet يعني ليس بعد. لسه الإشي مش منتهي أو ما خلص. Okay. So we use it with the questions or negative اللي هي no sentence. إذا بدنا نفهم we need to differentiate between already and yet. In already we use it with positive sentence. It comes in the middle or at the end of a sentence. But in yet we use it in questions and negative sentence. And yet in negative and questions always comes it is always comes at the end of this, the sentence or the question دائما بتيجي بنهاية السؤال أو نهاية إيش الجملة for example have you eaten the apples yet وطبعا لما بدي أكون سؤال أنا طبعا ببلش بالهاف أو الهاز السبجكت الفيرب 3 والأوبجكت أو الكومبليمنت وبنحط لي question mark this is yes or no question إذا كان WH question بنضيف ال WH word before this form بس. Okay? So yet goes at the end of the sentence or a question. يعني بنهاية الجملة أو السؤال. For example, إذا إجابتي بدها تكون no, بحكي no, I haven't eaten the apples yet. Have you noticed? At the end, at the end. In a question and in what? In a sentence. Okay. <clears throat> But let me give you this or let me show you and make it clear for you about this thing. A key word like yesterday, two weeks ago, we cannot use it in present perfect symbol. 
these adverbs of time we cannot use it with the present perfect symbol so we cannot say i have done my homework yesterday i have done my homework yesterday no no it's incorrect to use it incorrect to use yesterday or ago in a present perfect sentence but in past symbol i can say I did my homework yesterday. But I can no ana komet biwaj bil pareha. But we cannot, isan pay attention. We cannot use adverbs of time like yesterday and ago in sentence in a present perfect sentence. <clears throat> let's take some examples about already and yet. Now we have here. Let's make a question about Ben. Has Ben eaten his hamburger yet? See has started with the question then we have the subject this is the helping verb subject and the verb three or yet comes where at the end of the sentence جاءت في نهاية ال sorry at the end of the question بنهاية السؤال if my answer is no so I would say no he hasn't or has not eaten his hamburger yet if my answer is yes I would say Yes, he has eaten his hamburger already or yes, he has already eaten his hamburger. But notice to the picture, he hasn't finished the action. He hasn't finished eating action. ما انتهى من عملية أو فعل إيش الأكل لسه ما انتهى منه. Yet, ليس بعد. So my answer is going to be no, he hasn't or has not eaten his hamburger yet. Okay? <clears throat> now let's take an example about the verb do by using what present perfect symbol has this is the helping verb marry subject done has Mary done her homework yet if my answer is yes so I would say what she has done her homework already or she has already done her homework very rare to use it احنا استخدمنا كلمة rare وهون حكينا very common to use it but both of them are correct okay إذا الإجابة بيس بده يكون عندي already لأنه احنا we are talking about yet and already وإذا الإجابة بنو بده يكون yet والسؤال بده يكون بي yet has mom done the washing yet هل انتهت ماما من الغسيل yes she has already done the washing swept have Sally and Joey swept the floor yet? No, they haven't swept the floor yet. Okay, these are all examples about present perfect symbol with yet and what already. Throw. Have you thrown away the rubbish yet? Lahaz on have you thrown the rubbish yet? Yes, I have or I've thrown away the rubbish already or I have already been hotahon thrown away the rubbish. Right. Has Mark written the letters yet or the letter yet? No, he hasn't written the letter yet. No, he hasn't written the letter yet. Lahazna ijat yet hon binihaitil question wanihayat is sentence. Now let's move to the second use of present perfect symbol. In a present perfect symbol, we can use it also to talk about actions that started in the past. يعني yani الأكشن بدأ where in the past and continue to the present time. Continue to the present time, but we cannot use the progressive in it. ما بقدر أستخدم the progressive, but I have two key words that shows me. That show me that what? That this action started in the past and continued to the present. Here I'm not talking about the result. أنا مش عم بحكي عن النتيجة. أنا عم بحكي عن action عم بيستمر أو عم يمتد لل present time. For example, لما أجي أحكي in 2003, I planted this flower and this flower has grown for two years. 2005 إذا هاي لمدة عم So for two years لمدة سنتين I have grown flowers for two years 
انا الي سنتين عم ايش عم بزرع الفلاورز او عم بربي الفلاورز او عم بعمل بالفلاورز الى اخره وممكن احكي انه this flower has grown for two years اوكي okay? ممكن تكون تري شجرة flowers not one flower اوكي okay? let's take more examples about since and for and then know and recognize the use for each one of them خلينا نفهم ايش استخدام كل واحدة فيهم we use the present perfect tense with since and for to say how long an action has lasted يعني لا احكي قديش دام الحدث متى بدأ متى انتهى ما بيمني بس انا بعطي a period of time in since since 2000 مثلا انا بعطي start of the time start of the time اللي هو بداية الوقت but in four انا بعطي the whole period of time so again sorry for that interruption we use قلنا the present perfect tense with since and for قلنا since here بتعطيني the beginning of what the beginning of the period of time هي بتعطيني بداية الفترة الزمنية يعني بتعطيني بس البداية اللي هي start or the beginning of a period of time بينما for بتعطيني the whole period of time ودايما since بتيجي زي ما أحكي لك since uh, 2005 since I was a child, since last holiday, since yesterday, since last week, and so on. Before they even be number, عدد يعني رقم في رقم ببين لك since when, since five years, since seven years, since uh, the whole uh, sorry, for five years I messed up here. For five years, for seven years, for ten years, for the whole summer, for the whole holiday. كامل العطلة الصيفية كل السمر إلى آخره so it gives us what the whole period of time زي لما أحكي لك I have played piano since 2000 أنا بلشت أعزف وهون play بمعنى إيش عزفت يعني أنا بلشت عزف البيانو من سنة الألفين ولما أجي أحكي هون I have played the piano for five years أنا هون عم بعزف البيانو إلي five years هير أنا بعرف إنه أنا إلي خمس سنين عم بعزف البيانو وما زلت مستمر هون أنا عم بعطيك بالجملة الأولى بداية الفترة الزمنية إنه بالألفين بلشت أعزف وما زلت إلى الآن إذا أنا عم بحكي how long the action has lasted قديش دام الحدث So as I told you before إنه we use sense with the present perfect tense or to refer to the starting point of an action يعني أنا هون I have studied at this school since 2000. بلشت بال 2000. Had the started time. Would استمر الحدث لأمتى ل now ل 2005. إذا 2000 is a point of time. يعني هو إيش نقطة زم بداية النقطة الزمنية. Not a period of time. وليس إيش فترة زمنية كاملة. هذا بالنسبة ل since. هذا بالنسبة ل إيش ل since because since gives us the starting of time. For with the present perfect symbol to refer to a period of time is in here Tatik the whole period of time. For example, I have studied at this school for five years. Only starting one in the Anna now is an Anna in the period of time for five years. If not, ma did like a come sunny, but like an Anna Haket like in no bill alfen or mazilt mustamer. هون 5 years is a period of time not a point of time إذا هي عبارة عن فترة زمنية مش بداية إيش الفترة الزمنية Let's take these examples about since and for I have had piano lessons for 10 years لاحظوا for أخذنا معها 10 years period of time Peter has collected stamps since 2003 إذا هو عم ميلم أو بجمع بالستامس اللي هي الطوابع البريدية أو الطوابع من الألفين وثلاث أوكي وميلي إلى الآن ما زال مستمر إيمي has grown flowers since last month إلها من الشهر الماضي عم إيش عم تزرع وتربي إيش الزهور أو اللي هو الورد My brother has played football for two years أخوي إله عم يلعب فوتبول لمدة إيش two years John and Jenny have been friends for eight months. Then I got it. Eight on eight months. The the whole period of time. Camel fatra zamaniya. Number six. They have done pallet since two thousand. Then they have been using pallet since two thousand. 
أو عم بيقوموا بعروض البلاء من سنة الألفين وما زالوا إلى الآن. My father has driven his car since nineteen ninety six. إذا بلش أبوي يقود سيارته بسنة الألف وتسعمائة وستة وتسعين. So this is the beginning of a period of time. Okay. In next video, inshallah, we will talk about how to use how long. And the answer is going to be with since and for. And I will show you the difference between present perfect symbol and present perfect continuous with since and for and how long. Okay. Thank you so much for today. See you inshallah on Sunday. Uh, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to share and like, subscribe the channel. Goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Be safe and be away. Stay at home. Be away from gathering with people. Goodbye.